everyone. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Family Matters. My name is Nancy Martinez. I'm the club social worker for South FAR, San Juan, and the main unit here uh, for the Boys and Girls Club of FAR. This month's topic is going to be um, runaway prevention. So thank you again for joining me. Please stay tuned for this great presentation. So again, Family Matters, a runaway prevention topic for this month's Youth and Family Support Services um, meeting, parent meeting. So what is running away, right? I mean, how many of us didn't really think about running away as kids because we were upset at our mom or, you know, we didn't get that toy we wanted or we weren't able to go to a friend's house. But in all reality, if you think about seven kids, you guys know, um, between the ages of 10 and 18, one in seven of those kids will run away at some point. Um, according to the National Switchboard, National Runaway Switchboard, um, there's between one and three million kids that are living in the street. <clears throat> so what's the definition of running away, right? So that's pretty much anybody the age of 17 or younger that leaves home without the consent of a parent or their legal guardian and has no intention of returning. Um, it has a little bit more technical information on there, but that's pretty much what it is. This is um, from the Legal Aid Northwest Texas Youth Rights Handbook series. So why are teens or kids running away? I mean, there can be a hundred reasons why they run away, but some of the most frequent uh, reasons that they're given is they're angry at a parent or a guardian. Um, they're hurt, their feelings were hurt, or they were maybe physically hurt. Um, they're having problems at home with their families, um, arguments, stuff like that. Um, they can also run away because of shame or fear. And that's because either they did something or something happened and they're ashamed, um, they're ashamed of telling their parents or they're scared of telling their parents. They don't really know how. So they rather run away and not um, deal with that. Um, other problems are alcohol um, or drugs, either they're using or the, someone in the family is using and they can't deal with that anymore. Financial worries, you're feeling like a burden, um, parents divorcing or separating, or even a new step parent being introduced into the family. So those are some of the main reasons that we've kind of heard um, that kids end up running away. So kids don't run away, it's dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Now, kids have this tendency of thinking, um, and when I say kids, that's in general 17 or, or 18 and younger, to me, they're, they're, they're children. Um, they have a vision that when they're, run, they're gonna run away, it's gonna be a glamorous lifestyle and they can do whatever they want. There's no rules and expectations and so forth. But the reality is that they're faced to having to deal with not having money. They don't have a place to live. They'll go stay um, couch surfing, right? From one friend's house to another for a few days. Um, but they don't have a steady place to live or maybe not having anywhere to go at all. Um, there's no food. There's a lot of risky situations, crimes. Um, they don't have food or money. Um, so they're stealing now. There's drugs and alcohol tied into it. Um, but greater, greater risks are being kidnapped after running away or assaulted, uh, falling into human and sex trafficking. Um, not long ago, during this past summer, we did see this headline here in the Valley. Um, a teen ended up running away after she met somebody on social media. She was kidnapped and assaulted um, within less than 24 hours of running away. So it is very, very dangerous. So what can you do to help prevent? So um, children do need to learn certain life skills that, they're, that they do need throughout their life. Coping skills, problem solving skills, social skills. Um, so some of those is learning how to understand their emotions. I mean, I know as adults, sometimes we don't really even understand like, we're having a bad day and we don't really know why 
um, until we sit back and analyze like, okay, well, what happened that really made me feel that way? So imagine if we struggle with that sometimes, a child that doesn't know how to process their, their thoughts and their emotions and their feelings, uh, how hard it can be for them. So learning to understand their emotions and their feelings. Um, then after they are learning how to understand them, how to express them uh, properly. And I'm not talking about like blowing up and no, they need to make sure they're processing um, and expressing their, their feelings either through art or verbally um, would be a great way. So talking it out, like we say, um, calming skills. What is the calming skill uh, and the coping skill, like exercise, crafting, baking, reading, listening to music, art, anything that makes them feel happy, that's their happy place, that's their happy skill, um, that helps um, learning how to do all that, right? Also making lists of ways how to solve a problem instead of always just thinking of what problems they have. What can you do to solve this problem? Okay, I have this situation. What do I do? Make a list out of it and go from there, right? Also talking to a trusted adult. Now this, I, I can't stress this enough, um, proper communication with your kids. You know, I know it's hard, but becoming a, your child's go-to person is great. I mean, I would rather my kids come to me as a trusted, their trusted adult in their life than somebody else or maybe a friend that they think is gonna help them and that doesn't help them. So learning how to communicate with our children, you know, um, if your child does come to you with something, learning how not to react and even overreact at the moment, kind of take a step back and listen to what he's, he or she's really telling you um, because it can be just the first step that they're taking to see whether they can trust you and talk to you and tell you more. Um, or even when they say, well, my friend, and they'll go on to explain whatever they want. They're kind of just testing you to see if you're gonna overreact or how you're gonna react at all to see if they're gonna, they can move forward with telling you what they want to tell you and open up about. So yeah, um, that commun those communication skills are, on our end as parents are off, um, something awesome that we need to learn because that can be the key to the relationship with our children. Um, help, it's out there guys. Um, teens, if you're listening to this, the Children's Center of the Rio Grande Valley, um, they're a resource, somebody you can call that specializes in helping out, um, especially teens that run away. Their phone number is 409. 795-8711. You can go onto Facebook and search for them on social media. Also as the Children's Center Inc. Rio Grande Valley um, or their website, thechildrenscenterinc.org. Also National Runaway Self, Self, Safe Line, I'm sorry. Um, and that's 1-800-786-2929 or their website, www.1800runaway.org. Um, also, the Texas Youth and Runaway Hotline, you can text them at 512-872-5777. You can also chat with them at texasyouth.org or call them 1-800-989-6884. And I, you can also reach me in case you do need to talk. Um, and I'll add my information at the end of the video. So these are some of our resources that we did use. Um, also, um, Make sure you are sharing your knowledge, guys. The more you know, knowledge is power. I can, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. Um, so a way you can do this is sharing our video um, to, to share the, your wealth, of course, your knowledge, right? Um, also, so you can enter our door prize or our virtual door prize to win a basket. So listen to our presentation, um, leave a quick comment, like our presentation, like our page, and tag three friends to be entered into our raffle. Um, we'll give you the rest of the month to do this and share away. Um, deadline to enter would be 
um, the end of the month at 11.59, of course. Uh, we will announce our winner um, December 1st around 4.30. Um, I think that's usually the time that uh, I end up doing our raffles, just so you can pick up around five or after work. Um, so yeah, please, like I said, if you have any other questions, let me know. And um, thank you for joining our presentation. And if I can help you guys with anything, please let me know. Um, I'm here to help. There's always someone to listen. I can be that listening ear if you need me to. Um, I bet I can help with anything else also. Just let me know. Once again, thank you for joining our presentation and share away, guys. See you next month.